Hello everyone, Mike with Spray Jones coming to you with another video on spray foam insulation. Today we're taking a look at whether or not two inches of closed cell foam is enough in a two by four wall. The reason that I get asked this a lot is that there still is this perception out there that you have cold walls and that you need copious thick amount of insulation in order for you to be warm, dry, and for uh, the wall assembly to do its job. We're so indoctrinated with thicker is better and that a two by six is better, a two by eight is better, a two by 12 is better. We're used to looking through the lens of the fiberglass world that when it comes to spray foam, we have such programming in our brains, such uh, intelligentsia inside that is false, that it becomes very difficult for us to think in lines with what the spray foam can actually do. If the roles were reversed and spray foam had been the norm, we'd never be able to sell glass fiber. Nobody would want their walls to be that thick. Uh, they, they just, they wouldn't. They'd say, why? I can get it this thick and it's warm and it's dry and you want me to be twice, three times as thick and it doesn't work as well. Forget it. I'm not using it. So the proof is in the pudding. Rather than going into copious amounts of charts and graphs and, you know, I've shown you the chart many times that shows that two inches of closed cell foam can hold back 80 six percent of the BTUs. Let's take a look at what we did here with a low-income housing project. Um, multiple units, these uh, buildings had been built in the 1950s. They had been loosely renovated uh, with some sort of a vapor barrier and bad insulation in the 1970s, but they were not at all in their prime. So this renovation, they gutted the walls out, front and back walls of the building, because a lot of the building, they're multiplexes, and they have share a common wall. So you got a front of the building, back of the building, those are the outside walls. We're spraying two, two and a half inches of closed cell. Now in an oddball stud space, a lot of times you're gonna get three real quick, but uh, just think about as two, nothing under two inches of closed cell foam into a two by four wall. And we shave everything off, it sticks out, and then we do the caulking air seal package. Now, why are we doing the caulking on the studs? Because we need wood to wood joints to be air sealed. We don't want air going through it. We don't want water going through it. Is there an additional vapor barrier? No, we are not putting plastic with plastic. Closed cell foam at just one inch uh, thick on wood is going to be sufficient to do your vapor diffusion, but we're stopping air transmission and water transmission. And then we have sufficient amount of heat on the inside with the sp sufficient amount of spray foam on the inside to retain the heat is what I'm trying to say. Do we need to fur the wall out and put in even thicker? Well, no, that's what this whole video is about. We don't need to go thicker. You know, two inches of foam will work. Now, when you take a look at the thermography, images here we have a uh, thermal imaging camera that's fitting on an iphone and we're seeing that the wall assembly is performing extremely well now these units they had the heat cranking because they were mudding and taping and doing drywall so the, these units are sitting there at 22 23 24 degrees celsius inside outside we're sitting on a minus 20 degrees celsius day uh, and there was a decent breeze blowing that day. Everybody was bundled up and wearing toques and jackets and what have you. But the proof is in the pudding. Take a look at the wall assembly. Look at how extremely cold. At just two inches thick, a closed cell foam. Take a look at how well the foam is performing uh, inside the wall assembly and the studs themselves. If the studs were such high conductors of heat, if they were losing so much thermal um, energy, they would be showing up to be a lot more colder than they are and they would be performing a lot more poor than they are you can already see in these images where the the foam insulation is where studs are where um headers and areas where we can't get the foam it shows up a different color it shows up more blue more dark that it is cold so if the studs were performing incredibly poor they would be showing up a lot colder than they currently are. And this is the argument that I've been making for quite some time, uh, that the studs on white paper show a very detrimental value. But in actuality, when looking at the real physics of real life with thermal imaging uh, cameras, the studs are not a huge detriment. So when you are considering foam insulation for your project, uh, know that just 
Two inches of closed cell foam in a two by four wall is sufficient to go through any winter that North American can throw at it. Now, obviously if I can put in more, I will. There are times where uh, the client wants more insulation and we can build up the thickness of the foam to what they want and need. But two by four wall, we deal with this with heritage homes and situations where the flooring and the offsets of the layout of the room are already made and it's going to cost copious amounts of money to go in and fur walls out thicker it's just not needed can we come in and go with two inches of closed cell and a two by four wall and be sufficient yes and that's what this low income housing proved the dimensional space of each unit was small to begin with we didn't have a whole lot of room we didn't want to throw cabinetry and living room and the location of lights and what have you off so leave the two by fours in place retrofit them with two inches of spray why not put three or four why not fill the thing up and shave it flush well the reason is going back to that thermal uh performance chart of the spray foam you're at 86 percent at two inches thick and only 90 percent at three so why do you want to go and put way more foam on where you're guaranteed to have to shave nearly every square inch of the wall assembly why do all of that uh to gain four percent you can see already that the thermal imaging camera shows just how well two inches is providing and that's the purpose of this video to show you the physical proof with uh the receipts that two inches of closed cell foam can handle just any winter that north america can throw at it so whether i'm doing a shop or whether i'm doing um, a metal building or i'm doing a retrofit now obviously there's certain situations where we have to up it uh we've got white paper code values that need to be hit on new construction or certain retrofits where they're calling for more but i'm putting this video together today to show you just how well two inches of closed cell phone works in a two by four wall or even thicker you know two by six wall two by eight you're not needing huge amounts of foam is it warm is it dry yes is it safe yes you just got to make sure that you get your foam complete into the corners and into the edges. Do your caulking air seal package. Even if you're in warm climates, do the caulking. Stop the air intrusion from coming in and out of the wall assembly. You don't want death by a thousand cuts. So do the caulking where the wood to wood joints are, and then that will get you air sealed. It's a part of the spray foam installers uh, package of offering. Uh, beware of anybody that says they don't offer it because it's going to become an orphan and it becomes a problem that will be forgotten. And then you run into problems and the finger pointing begins. So I hope this video makes sense. We're going to bring out a lot more educational stuff as time goes on here and get you up to speed. Click on the share, like, and subscribe, leave a comment on what you think, and I'll catch you on a new video soon.